It is day five at Mercer Lake Resort, and we've got another great day ahead of us. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to show us your support, please subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you can be notified of all the latest videos that are coming out. morning time out on the deck and G is having a chocolate muffin starting my day off with a couple of cheese bagels with cream cheese and some coffee one of the things that's great here at Mercer Lake Resort is in the morning it's about eight o'clock right now the water is super calm for uh, skiing or wake surfing or wakeboarding somebody just went by so you can see a little bit of wave but usually it's just like glass um it's a little bit overcast and that sometimes happens over here in florence in the morning uh but it'll burn off within a couple hours but this can be the ideal uh skiing time or wake surfing time if you look through the clouds right there you can see it's getting pretty close to to burning off so uh here in an hour or two it'll be really sunny and nice out um, but the water is perfect this time of morning Even though it was still a little bit overcast, Angie and Joel and I went out on the boat to do some wake surfing.
Joel and I both got to practice our wake surfing a bunch, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how fast we're improving for a couple of newcomers. After going out with Joel and I, Angie got to have a little bit of paddle time before having lunch. So I am barbecuing uh, some burgers for lunch today, uh, and then we'll uh, see what the afternoon does. It's, so far, it's been turned out to be kind of a lazy day today, which is nice. All right, so the sun's finally come out uh, here at Mercer Lake today. It took a while today. It didn't happen till early afternoon. It's about 3 o'clock right now. But instead of going down to the beach where everyone's starting to gather, we're heading into Florence to go to Old Town Florence and get something to eat at a restaurant that we really like. Uh, and then we're doing a hike uh, tonight on a trail at a place um, uh, called the Hobbit Trail that's supposed to be really pretty. So we'll see how that goes. What would you rate this park from one to ten? One. Why? Because it's boring. There's nothing to do. Just stand here. What do you want it to have? You said this was gonna be a fun park. This is a very boring park, Dad. After striking out at what I thought was a cool park in Old Town Florence, we decided to browse around some of the cool shops that they have in the area. Alright, so we came into Old Town Florence and walked around a little bit through some of the shopping areas and kids picked out a couple of little things that they wanted and had a fun time. And now we are going to walk over to uh, Hookie Lao to have some dinner. We've done many videos on Hookie Lao. Between the incredible food and the amazing atmosphere, it is definitely our favorite place to eat in Florence. So Hookie Lao was as good as it always was. I think we all really enjoyed our food and it was cool uh, getting out of the resort for just a little bit and hanging out together as a family and going into Old Town and then having a good meal together. And uh, now we're gonna head back to the resort 
All right, so we are on the road heading to the trail. We've got a car full of people. Everybody say hi. Hi. All right, so we are at the Hobbit Head Trail and we got a big group of people and we are heading down to the beach. All right, so this is the Hobbit Trail. It's kind of in a foresty type area as we're heading down to the beach. It's really cool back here. Uh, the trail heading down is really neat. I'm Aaron Pine, the Elven Wizard. Nice. <laughs> I'm traveling around promoting my new adventure meditation program. Whoa. Oh, We've got a kids program, adult program. It's guided meditation, but it's also like this fun fantasy journey you go on. Wow. Uh, in the journey, you meet me as the Elven Wizard, and I get you started on your adventure. Nice. And I help you create your own avatar character and your own sanctuary. And then the journeys with the different worlds, angel worlds, fairy worlds, all kinds of fun stuff. It's all based around the Tree of Life, Norse mythology. So I kind of took that framework and, and expanded upon it. I've been teaching meditation for 20 years and I've been a lover of fantasy and gaming since a teenager. So I kind of combined my two passions. Good luck on your adventures. Thank you, you as well. So we literally just met a hobbit on the Hobbit Trail, which is super cool. Um, he's an elven wizard that was walking around doing a video and we crossed our path so uh, what a cool experience on the way down to the beach. This beach is super cool. You come out of the Hobbit Trail to this big Hobbit beach and uh, you can see out in the ocean, but there's a layer of fog right next to us there on the, on the cliff side. It's really cool the way it all looks together. It's a beautiful area. Yeah, check out, if you look over at the ocean here, you can see out a ways. It's not perfectly clear, but you can see a ways out into the ocean. It's relatively clear. But then if you come over to this cliffside in front of me and you start to go up, look at that marine layer of fog right there rolling in and just kind of stuck on the cliffside. It's really cool the way this is. It's a super beautiful area. Standing up here on this bluff, you have to climb up on. It's got a really cool vantage point of uh, everything. I get to see the girls over here playing in the, the ocean and uh, the beach in its entirety. The cliff sides right behind me. 
You got the boys over on the other side of the beach climbing up some huge sand thing. I'm not sure what they're doing, um, but it's super cool over here. I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah. buddy. Okay. You ready to go back? Yeah, he's ready to go back. Oh, oh. <laughs> So the fog has really rolled in here uh, as we've been here for a little bit. You can see now, like, if you look in every direction, there's fog all the way around us. Uh, so it's pretty cool the way the fogs come in. It adds a little bit of a mystical flavor to this, which is really cool. It was beautiful. Talked back, we were basically the only people here, which was great. And we saw what? Starfish and uh, starfish? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sea anemone, crab, I don't know, other things. It was beautiful. Yeah, the kids got to climb up on a cliff and have fun with that and yeah, play out in the dunes. ocean water and the shallow part. And they got wet, they got filthy. Most All the things they enjoy doing. Um, and now we're going to head back up the trail and go back uh, to the resort. But she went up, so I had to go back up, and it, it hurts your legs to go up this yeah. hill because it's like um, really tall. Yeah. And I had to climb back up and help Clara down. But in the end, it was ma mainly her. All right, so we made it back to uh, Mercer Lake Resort. It's just amazing how clear and beautiful it is here. And it was literally a like 10 minute drive from that foggy beach that we were just at, at the uh, Hobbit Beach. So um, it's really cool over here on the Oregon coast, the difference that a 10 minute drive can make in terms of the conditions. Uh, but we're back here at the resort. The kids are all in the hot tub playing and warming up from uh, getting in the cold water and stuff and we are settling down for the night. Um, gonna have some treats and hang out a little bit uh, and then hit the rack and uh, have another fun day scheduled for tomorrow. 
Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you have favorite places you like to go with your family, please leave your comments below. We'd love to know what some of your thoughts are. Don't forget you can follow us on Instagram at Bucket Day Adventures. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really want to show us your support, please subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you can be notified of all the latest videos that are coming out. Thanks again for joining us and we sure hope you're doing something great today to fill your bucket. Take care.